This tutorial will cover basic file and drawing tools. Some specific tools will be covered in later videos. Under the File tab, you'll notice New, which opens a new file. Open, which opens an existing ECP project file. Save, which will let you save the file. Save As, which will let you rename the project file. Import, where you can import DXFs. Export, where you can export DXFs. Machine Options, which will be covered in a later video. And then there's some print options. Under Edit, you'll notice some general tools like Undo, Redo, Copy and Paste, which can also be used as Control C and Control V and Cut, Refresh, Pick, Zoom In and Zoom Out and Pan, which can also be done with the mouse. Zoom to Table and Zoom All to Object, which will zoom to the object selected. A shortcut to zoom in and out is to use the scroll bar on the mouse. Under the Draw tab, you'll see Line, Rectangle, Polyline, Ellipse, and a few other tools. These can all be found on the left side toolbar right over here. Code text is something that can be used to number parts. Copy, rotate, mirror, vertically or horizontally. These are also on the left side toolbar. Align options and edit node options, which are also located on the left. Under tools, you'll see some tools that will optimize your file cutting path. Unite lines is something you'll use often when you import a file. There's some laser tools, and under View, you'll see some toolbar settings and your status bar, which is at the bottom of the screen and shows you where you are in location to the bed. Under Help, there's some help options. Now let's go over some tools in the top toolbar. Open, Save, New, these are all also found under the File tab. Refresh, which will refresh your page. The Pick tool is something you want to familiarize yourself with. Whenever you draw something or select something, you'll need to go back to the Pick tool. Now in the left side toolbar, you'll see some drawing settings. We're going to draw a line. This is the Polyline tool. You can use this to draw connected lines and right click to end. This is the square tool or rectangle tool. You can use it to draw rectangles and if you hold down the control key while you're drawing you can use it to draw a square. Let's go back to the pick tool and we can select certain objects and delete them by hitting the delete key. You can select more than one object by drawing a square around it. You can select one object and then another object by holding down the shift key. This is the circle tool. You can use it to draw an oval or hold down the shift key and you can draw a circle. The text tool allows you to add text. Just select the tool and make a box on the screen. You can, if you have an object selected, you can align it with that selected object. Or if you pick the pick tool, deselect everything, select the text, make a box. You can put in your own text. You can align the height of it and the spacing. Select the font, which will be um, any font uploaded to your hard drive. Now we're going to rotate it. We select Rotate, 
enter in the rotation degrees. Move it around. You can put in an angle for the rotation or you can select the object and rotate it. The mirror tools will allow you to mirror the object either horizontally or vertically. The edit node function will allow you to edit the selected object at its curve points. The size option will allow you to um, enter in a specific size of your object in millimeters. The copy option will allow you to copy an object over and over by putting in the number of rows, the number of columns, and the gap is the spacing between each object. Keep in mind that you can't have any objects outside of the bed area. This includes visible and non-visible layers. So delete any objects outside of the bed area. Zoom all to table will give you a nice view of everything within the bed area. To copy and paste just one object, select the object, go under Edit, Copy, and then Paste. It'll actually paste right over the original object, so you'll have to hover over the blue X and move it over. You can also use Control-C and Control-V for copy-paste. Let's look at some alignment options in the toolbar. Select an object or a group of objects. You can align to top, align to bottom, align left, align right, and align all to center. In the next video, we'll look at some layer options.